welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the octet rule. So the octet rule explains the chemical behavior of various elements on the periodic table. The octet rule says that all elements want to have eight valence electrons to become stable. This means that they're going to have a completely filled upper energy level and thus become stable. And there are a few elements on the periodic table that have already satisfied this rule and are already stable. And those are the noble gases. So the noble gases already have eight valence electrons. They're already stable, which explains why noble gases very rarely react. They're relatively unreactive because they're already stable. They already have all of the valence electrons that they need. And there's other elements on the periodic table, like the metals in groups 1 and 2, the non-metals in groups 16 and 17, that are extremely reactive. And that's because they're super close to following this rule of having eight valence electrons. So they bond in such a way to achieve this goal and to become stable. And there's also a few exceptions to this rule. Helium. Helium only has two valence electrons. It has two electrons in total, actually, but also two valence electrons. And it's completely stable because it only fills the 1s energy level. Energy level 1 only has an s sublevel. And because it's completely filled up, helium is stable. And there's a few elements on the periodic table that will also become stable by having two valence electrons. And those are hydrogen, lithium, beryllium and boron. But let's look at one of the noble gases as an atomic number of 10, which means there's 10 electrons. So if we look at the electron configuration, it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. We have a completely filled second energy level. S can hold two electrons, P can hold six. Both of those are completely filled up. And if we were to draw this out using a model, N equals one as one, two electrons. And the second energy level has eight. So that second energy level is completely filled and it is completely stable. Neon is following the octet rule. It has a filled second energy level. And if we were to look at fluorine, fluorine has an atomic number of nine, which means it has an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. And notice fluorine only has seven valence electrons. So it would need one more in order to become stable. And if we were to look at a model of the fluorine atom, we would see that it is super close to neon, but it's missing one valence electron. So fluorine will actually bond in such a way that it will gain that one valence electron to become stable like neon. And then let's look at sodium. Sodium has an atomic number of 11. So the electron configuration would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So if we were to look at a model of sodium, we have two electrons in the first energy level, eight in the second, and only one in the third energy level. So what will happen with sodium is that it will actually lose that outer electron. It will lose it so that when it's lost underneath, it has eight total valence electrons, just like neon. So all the elements on the periodic table will do what it takes to become stable like the noble gases. They all want to have eight valence electrons in order to be stable. And they will do what it takes to get there through chemical bonding. And if you want to know more about how exactly these atoms become stable using bonding, check out some other videos on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by.